Even small expenses can add up to quite a bit over a year, and with Excel, you can see those totals with a few calculations. In this workbook, it's a free download that you can get from my website. We're going to look at what does it cost per year. You'll put an item in this first table, which looks at your current spending. So for coffee, maybe I spend $5 on a cup of coffee, and I do that once every workday. That's 250 cups of coffee over the year, and the annual cost is $1,250. Scenario B is looking at where I could save some money. So in scenario B, the coffee would still be the same, but instead of buying it every working day, I'll buy two every work week. That means I'm only buying 100 cups of coffee at a cost of 500, and the difference so my savings during the year would be $750. If you download this file, you can customize it a bit. So you'll enter your data on this main sheet called cost per year. There's another sheet called lists. And in here, I've just got the standard number of days per year and weeks and so on. You can customize though how many weeks you work and how many days you work each week. So if you're on a four day shift, you'd change that to four. For work weeks, maybe you get more vacation. So if you had four weeks of vacation, you'd only be going to work 48 weeks. So you can adjust that, and that will be reflected in the calculations. So we'll add a new item here. Maybe I'm going to look at my spending on sports activities. So I play golf, and for a round of golf, it's $60. And I do that two times per week. I don't do that year round though. This column lets you override because I picked weekly. It's doing two times 52 for a total of 104. I only play about 25 weeks of the year. So I'll put 25 here. And now that recalculates. So it's showing 50 rounds of golf at $60 for $3,000 total for the year. Now I'll go to scenario B. I'm gonna pay the same amount but perhaps I'll cut back to one round per week. And again, it will be 25 weeks. And instead of 3,000 over here, it's down to 1,500 for savings of 1,500. And at the top of the sheet, you can see the grand total. So in this one, I'm spending 4,250. Here, we're down to 2,000. And my savings for the year, just with these two items cutting back, is 2,250. So you can download this file. This sheet is protected just so you don't accidentally type in any of the formula cells. It's not got a password though, so you just unprotect it and you'd be able to make changes or you can add more rows if you want to compare more items. For more Excel tips and tutorials and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.